Good morning guys, what's going on? Hope everyone's having a great day thus far. Saturday here, we are about to tear the engine down. Hopefully maybe get a little bit of insight on exactly what happened to our engine. But first off, if you did not see yesterday's video, very important, go check it out. I'll put a link right here. Go check out yesterday's video, then come back to this one and come see the carnage that is about to happen. So it is an actual beautiful, beautiful fall day. This is definitely my favorite time of the year. The weather report could not be any better. Nice breeze going on. But let's get to tearing this engine down. Um, we'll go over each step of the way. Like I said yesterday, what we're gonna probably end up doing, we got Chris laying down on the job again. Because the engine's locked up and we can't get the converter off and my engine mount doesn't really fit on the side, what we're gonna do is blast the front part of this all apart. Actually, first we're gonna drain the oil because there's still oil in there as you can see but we're going to take the front part of everything off and then tip the engine over to get to the bottom of the oil pan to get all that stuff out you got anything to add over there spanky nice milky mixture of coolant and oil and tears he goes. <laughs> That's good. So first signs of carnage, you can see how far the cam was trying to push out. It usually it sits flush with the CP3 gear. So uh, as you saw, I removed the three bolts on the back here for the CP3. We're gonna take this off, take the gear off, try and get the CP3 out of the way, and then see what we can do about possibly, the, there's probably only a little chunk of cam left on the front of this thing, seeing that the damage was all done in number one. So hopefully we can just pull that section kind of right out and then we'll start, you know, getting the rest of the front case off. So what you just saw was us trying to get this cam gear out of the block, which seeing that the engine will not turn, therefore the cam will not turn, we were trying to get the retainer bolts out without being able to spin the gear in the proper orientation to get the bolt head. So what we had to do was use a chisel, whack them, we got them out, um, and then in turn got us able to get what was left of the camshaft out and now we can then get the case off so then we can then get to the bottom side so now that that's out the case can come off and we will continue these these are definitely making for some really great wall hangers update the front case as you saw did not want to come off we ended up drilling out the holes to get the front case off don't even ask but uh, we did that the front case is now off now we have a pretty clear 
window to look through and the damage just continues. Oh boy. Chris is insisting that this chunk of cam has to stay lodged in there so when we make this a really sweet coffee table, you can just see all the nasty carnage. So got everything off this side of the engine. Oil pan is now off. We're gonna take the pickup off and I think then we are possibly ready to then flip it over on the deck to take it all apart. So we got the block upside down and as you guys just saw we took all the uh, the girdle the main caps everything off pretty much we can see down in here and I'll show you guys once everything is out at least three out of the six rods are just completely trash so me banging on the main caps there don't worry there's really I, I add the more we take apart crank has got some pretty bad marks in it as well so honestly if I had to take an educated guess, there's probably almost absolutely nothing that's salvageable. So we're not really taking care to really take things apart nicely because not much is really good. I mean, we still need to take the converter and the flex plate, maybe the engine adapter plate. But other than that, we will probably be starting completely fresh. I don't think I'd really want to reuse a whole lot anyway, just for, you know, mindset sake, just to have all new everything. So... That's where we're at. We're gonna start, uh, what exactly are we doing now? Oh, converter bolts. We're gonna do converter bolts and then probably flip it back over again, take the crank out. And that's where we're at. And then we'll kind of line everything up to show you guys everything. You guys can see now we're actually taking out the uh, oil squirters inside there they shoot some oil up inside underneath your piston we're gonna see what we can pull out we just pulled out a nice nice rod look at that nice k relay rod
boys, there she is, all blown apart. Nothing but a bunch of tears, tears and oil. So we have now transferred to helping Andrew put a starter in the old mega slab because it wouldn't start on him one day after he got done pumping iron. So before he electrocutes himself, we're gonna undo the batteries for him. Hey Andrew, what size shirt is that, a schmedium? So the last rod that I forgot about, the bolt on it is pretty mangled up. So we're gonna try and weld a nut to the end of this to try and turn that last uh, rod nut off and get this last half a, half a rod disconnected from the crank. Moment of truth. Oh boy, I think we got her. I think we got her. A little mini Lincoln comes in handy yet again. First fire up. Alrighty, one last look at all the carnage here. We got all the cylinders laid out. Here's number one. This is where the rod broke and went through the block on cylinder number one, right by the ECM. That is the piston. Cylinder number two, rods all tweaked. Three, four. Then this was the rod that was, well, the rod is bent, but the hole inside of the block. That is the piston for that. You can see where the piston pretty much cracked right on the top ring land there. And then cylinder number six. So as far as what caused everything and whatnot, who really knows? There's a whole lot of carnage in here. It's kind of hard to tell when pretty much everything is blown apart, but there's the damage on the block. Little cam chunk still hanging out. That's wedged in there, that'll stay there. Inside of cylinder number five. Chris over here. Andrew's helping out with light duty on here. But that's the inside of five. Yep. A couple bottles of JB Weld will be back up and running next weekend. So most of you guys probably don't know, but my birthday is actually upcoming this week. So Allie was awesome enough to get all of the guys here. So we're gonna have a little, I guess, a little mini party here get together that I had no idea about. Food's here, people are here. So we're gonna go inside, enjoy the night. Um, thank you guys. I'm sure most of you guys are gonna wish me happy birthday. So thank you guys for that. I appreciate that. So that is gonna wrap up this video. The engine is out, fully disassembled. Uh, we'll go over plans on what I'm thinking about doing for the 05. So, oh my gosh, it's just been, this has been in a crazy, amazing week. Um, I love all of you guys. Thank you guys again so, all, so much for all the support. It, it really does mean a lot. Go to wrenchworks.com, get entered in that giveaway. If you haven't know what, if you don't know what the giveaway is, we're giving away cash, we're giving away the air dog. Go check out yesterday's video. It's gonna be awesome. So Wrenchworks fall launch in full effect. Thank you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. See ya. More than I have to. But they're staying in your home. I'm done, I broke my